Greetings. Got an LGR blurb for you here about this blue screen. Well, it's actually more than that, of course, once we open some stuff. This is SC2K Render version 1.0, and this is a 3D map viewer <laughs> for SimCity 2000 map files. And it just released on Steam for free. I don't know if there's a, a download on Kremsky.net or anything, but it's on Steam, it's free, and this is such a niche product. I, I, I do, I'm just so excited that this exists. It's uh, written by Alexander Krimsky and uh, artist Thomas Nelson. DirectX 11 map viewer for SimCity 2000. So yeah, you can take any SC2 file from SimCity 2000, like whatever version, and uh, you can view the maps in 3D with these delightful little low poly, low res models. I mean, I don't know about you, but I think this is the coolest thing in the world <laughs> for today. Uh, I mean, I've been excited about this for a while, honestly, but today is the day I'm most excited about it because it's finally uh, playable and viewable. And it's just one of those things that it is, it's so niche and so weird to see on Steam. Like what in the world? It's every object in the game represented and uh, rendered out with its own little unique 3D model. I really, really enjoy the whole uh, interpretation going on for each of these things. Like, look at the little parks and the little railroad tracks. You know? <laughs> it's, it's so cool. It really gets the idea across of what I imagine my cities might look like in SimCity 2000. Uh, it also really brings to mind the alpha screenshots for SimCity 3000, maybe pre-alpha, I don't know. But like 1997 or so on the Maxis website, uh, you would go and you'd find screenshots of SimCity 3000 being worked on. And originally it was going to be a fully 3D game before they redid it and came up with SimCity 3000 as we know it, which is a more traditional SimCity 2000-esque thing. But yeah, originally it was gonna have a 3D world like this. But the only other thing I could wish for at this point is, is like animation, you know, like cars going around and little people walking. That's about it, because uh, otherwise this is fantastic. And of course, I've added the music in the background. That's just the SimCity 2000 soundtrack playing. But look at that. You got little planes at the airport. I mean, you know, you could see... Oops. It's very sensitive. You could see these represented in pixel form in SimCity 2000, of course, but, you know, it'd be up from, like, up here. Kind of isometric view. And if Alexander Krimsky sounds familiar, Krimsky.net, perhaps you are familiar with these other projects, uh, Simcopter X and Sim Streets X, which are fantastic modern updates, really like the only modern updates, <laughs> to uh, Streets of SimCity and Simcopter. Let's you play them on modern machines. You know, the CPU doesn't mess things up anymore. You got higher resolution, widescreen, all sorts of different bug, fa uh, bug fixes and patches and things. It's just awesome. Oh, hey, look, there's my tweet. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, uh, I've talked about these on like Twitter and probably some other places online, but I should have done a video on them by now. Honestly, these are fantastic projects. I just, I'm a fan of those games despite them being utterly broken and not particularly great. And so this kind of builds on that in the sense that it is, uh, you know, letting you mess around with SimCity 2000 map files. And that's what Streets of SimCity and SimCopter did, in case you're not aware or forgot or whatever. At, you just took map files from the game, SimCity 2000, and you could mess with them uh, with a racing or flight model. And this is not a game at all. It really is just a map viewer, but the fact that it exists is amazing. I mean, come on now. Who asked for this? Who wants this? Me? Let's get another one here from SimCity 2000 for Windows. Again, all these cities that came with it. I think it was sort of, I think these were like cities that were included because they won a contest or something. I remember NYC being pretty impressive. Yeah, let's just load that. Oh man. And yeah, you can see it definitely does affect the frame rate. And I'm running this in my Threadripper build and everything. So it's it's throwing all kinds of CPU stuff at it. Uh, rendering power of the, you know, whatever video card I have in there, 2080 Super. But yeah, there's still a lot of objects on a full, really populated map like this. Even with all these being really low poly, no textures, it's still a bunch 
of models, just so many little individual models. And right now I do have it set to uh, the full rendering range. So it just renders everything on the map. Oh, look at that, a little broken road. <laughs> That's so cool. Whoops, wrong button. Oh, another little statue there. Ah, yeah, this just appeals to me very much so. They did a great job of representing everything while also being its own aesthetic. It's, you know, you're not seeing any windows or anything. Not too much detail, but it looks awesome in a weird sort of model train set, tiny little little model world kind of way. Uh, yeah, kind of like when you see... I don't know, you go somewhere and you see like a representative building idea, like an architectural firm or a, a city hall or something. And they got like a little model of the city or a model of a building and down in the lobby somewhere. Kind of reminds me of that. It's just all little cutouts. And it just looks great. Look, even got like the, the cube waterfalls. <laughs> there we go. Why not? I like these bridges a whole lot. Kind of reminds me of uh, the game Vet for DOS, just a little bit. All oh, those water pumps. This is so neat. And it's free! It's free, dang it. Ah, kind of a weird dream come true, honestly. <laughs> I don't even know if I ever had the dream, but I kind of just envisioned this in my head, you know, playing around with SimCity 2000 as a kid. It always seemed more real. Uh, let's see, what else we got in here? Happy guy, I remember that one. Is that like a, a face or something? No, that's the guy. <laughs> Literally like a guy. It's interesting. Look how uh, like stretched it looks too. You know, because SimCity 2000 was um, not isometric. It's, it's something related to that. Something another oblique projection maybe, something like that. But yeah, typically you'd be seeing the maps from you know, a really low field of view and viewed at an angle. Kind of like this, but an even lower field of view than that. There is a way to adjust that. So yeah, we got mouse sensitivity, mouse uh, got movement speed, field of view, render distance. Oh, I don't have a mouse for some reason here. Hmm. Well, anyway, you know what SimCity 2000 looks like. So you'd be viewing it at an angle, so everything didn't look so stretched like it does here. Uh, but you know, that's just sort of a side effect of uh, looking at things in full 3D instead of just little 2D artwork representations of these things. Oh, little hydros! <laughs> oh, a little hexagonal hole. I got the, uh, the Bron Llama Dome. Let's see. Arco 1. Let's see if this one will load. Oh! Look at this craziness. Got all the launch Arcos. Just tons of launch Arcos. It's a fascinating representation of them. But hey, looks better than the ones that were in the streets of SimCity and SimCopter. I'll give them that. <laughs> like, weirdly, it's kind of got more detail on them than the ones in the streets. Oh, dude. It's so cool. Look, I'm inside a dome. Oh. I want this in VR, man. If this had a VR exploration mode, I would be all over that. Ah! It's got to be possible. Alexander, VR. <laughs> Even just the most basic fly around in VR kind of mode. That would be amazing. Got the uh, little Venice map here. It's just a bunch of water. Yeah. And I know it'd take like a billion hours more work to get some of the other graphic sets in here, but if if that would po be possible, oh man. See, now I'm just dreaming of crazy things that are probably not feasible whatsoever. I know this took a lot of work. I've just been following some of the development on Twitter, but uh, man, whatever. Oh, Maxis Land. Here's another one with a, kind of a drawing in the, the map. Look at that. Got the Maxis logo and the X is the city. <laughs> and again, it looks all stretched when you look at it here in 3D. Like, that's supposed to be uh, more of a circular crescent around Maxis. Anyway, you get the idea. This is a free thing. Go ahead and download it. Uh, it comes with a bunch of maps as well. 
But you know, it, it literally works with anything that has SimCity 2000 maps, which is, of course, SimCity 2000, Streets of SimCity, SimCopter, various re-releases and such for SimCity 2000. Look at all this. <sighs> yeah, to me, this just is insanely impressive and I love the fact that it exists. That's it, that's this blurb. Just wanted to, to show you this is a thing. Thanks for watching.